What's up everyone, Brad here with the Money Dad channel. In this video, I wanna go over a penny stock that has huge upside potential. Man, I sound just like the dude from Wolf of Wall Street right there, but I'm not trying to sell you some crap right here. I do have a penny stock in this video that has a pattern shaping up on the chart that I think is projecting to the upside with some significant gains. Again, sounding like Wolf of Wall Street, geez. Uh, but no, for real, I'm going to show you why this stock looks like it's going to break out. I'm gonna break it all down for you. I'm not trying to sell you any crap here. Um, <laughs> and if you've been following the channel, you know uh, I'm serious about these uh, chart patterns. I put my money where my mouth is. I show you guys you know, where I'm buying in, where I'm getting out, stop losses, the reliability of the chart pattern, all that stuff. So if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Come along for the ride. Uh, we trade stock chart patterns here, and we've been doing pretty well. Okay, so this one is ASRT, it's Assertio. Thought it was Assertio at first, but they actually have the pronunciation on their website uh, somewhere on here. I, I, don't, I don't remember where I saw it. It's, uh, it's on one of the pages. Anyway, if you want to get into the background of the company Assertio, you just go to assertiotx.com and you can learn all about them. They are a drug company, basically. Um, they do have FDA approved products already. You can see right here we have eight FDA approved products for various conditions. So they do have revenue and sales. So they're, that's you know one thing going for them that a lot of pharmaceutical companies just do not have, right? Uh, when you're dealing with the biopharmaceutical space in stocks, you know a lot of times these companies are trying to get their first FDA approved drug and it's kind of a gamble. This one already has eight and it's still a penny stock. So trading view over here, you can see the technicals. They, they have a strong buy rating based on the technicals on it. So that is a good sign. But I'm gonna show you guys why I have a strong buy rating on it. Uh, there is a pattern right here that is shaping up looks like a bull flag and we're gonna draw it all out and show you guys the price target that I'm projecting based on that bull flag. But first I wanna show you where this stock has come from because if we scroll back a little bit, we can see that this stock used to be in this range and even much higher. Uh, but there's something a little bit more significant about this chart. When, when we scroll out, you can see that it's really come down a long way. Uh, but the reason, the big reason I'm showing you why we've come down all this way is to show you where we're at right now. If you look at this price range that we're at right now at $1.15, you can see that this price range has acted as support and resistance in the past, right? Chopping around right here, coming down and acting as support until it finally broke down through it. And then back here in 2020 acted as resistance. So this price range, $1.15 is very significant on the history of this stock chart. So getting through it and having it underneath us to act as support would be a big win for this stock. But that's not really what we're trading here. We're going to be trading this bull flag that I'm about to show you guys. So let's get into that. And by the way, the uh, the volume has been playing its part to a T. You can see this big run up that uh, Assertio had in the beginning of February. This big run up was on big volume, so that played its part perfectly. And now volume has been consolidating, or it's been decreasing as the price has been consolidating, so that all checks out. We want to see those kinds of things. And the RSI is on our side. It's currently oversold, suggesting we are going to have increased prices soon. Well, Look what happens, we put in a bottom two trading days ago all the way down here in the 90 cent range and now we're starting to head back up. So this might be the time to get in. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what price point I think is the best time to get in and what price point to get out to uh, kind of maximize your gains and also mitigate your losses. So let's draw some lines and get us a bull flag. So we start our uh, flag pole at the low of this bull run and we bring it all the way up to the high of the bull run. So we got our flag right there. Now we wanna draw, or we have our flag pole. Now we wanna draw our actual flag, right? So we're gonna connect these tops and it's not perfect. We have, we have these two tops connect and then this one didn't come all the way quite up, but it's pretty close to, uh, to call that a wave right there. And then we have the bottom, uh, we have two touch points all the way down here, right? So we have our bull flag looking nice and pretty. Now we project to the upside based on the size of this flagpole, but first I wanna show you guys where 
you would want to buy in. This is our current resistance, right? This is a resistance level based on these three candlesticks right here, right? We've got these two candlesticks right here that have bumped up against it to create this line. And now we have this third candlestick that is gonna try to test it, right? We wanna try to break through this if possible. If we break through it, right? If we have a big enough up day, Tomorrow, for example, and we get up into looks like maybe the dollar 25 area and we close above it That means this blue line that was resistance is now underneath us and it's now going to be support That is significant. That means it's our floor now So we want to buy in or we want to wait to buy into this stock until we are above this blue line Notice this blue line is descending. So it's not a specific price point that is static Right? This is a dynamic price point. If it takes a week to get above this blue line, it might only be $1.20 or $1.21. If we try to break through it tomorrow, it might take us to $1.28 to get through there. This resistance line is declining, right? It's changing. So keep that in mind when you are deciding whether or not you want to trade this stock. And also guys, please do not trade this stock based solely on this video that you're watching. I am not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion only. It's for entertainment purposes. I am making this trade with my own money if we break above this blue line, but please do not do that yourself. Do your own due diligence. Make sure you are doing your own research. So um, on the flip side, we want to make sure we do not break below this blue line down here. This is our current support. If we break below that, that is uh, that is a very bad thing for this uh, bull flag. That basically means we just broke this pattern. It's no longer a bull flag, and it's it's kind of a, a busted trade setup. Okay, so we want to also watch this line as well. We could we could come all the way back down here into the 90 cent range, mid 90s, and be totally fine as long as we bounce off that blue line and head back up. But once we break through that blue line, that is bad news. That completely busts this trade, okay? So pay attention to that price range as well. So what is the price target? I know that's what everybody is here to see, right? That's really easy to do. You take this flagpole, you copy it and paste it so that you have a clone of it, and you take it and you start it wherever you think the next bull run is gonna start. So do we think this is where our bull run starts or do we think we come back down, make another wave and then head up? You have to pay attention to what this stock is doing over the coming days, right? If we break out tomorrow over this blue line, then this is where the bull run started, right? If we don't break out, if we break down, come down here and touch this blue line down here and then we break out, then the bull run starts right here. So this flagpole is gonna start wherever that bull run starts, okay? So I'm gonna make a price target right now, but keep in mind that this might not be the price target, depending on which wave in this bull flag ends up starting the bull run, if that makes sense, guys, okay? But we're gonna use this one right now because that's the information that we have right now. So we start that flag at the bottom of that bull run and we get a price target of $1.80, okay? So that is the price target if this is the bottom of our bull run and we don't buy in until we are above this blue line right here, that is our confirmation. So it might take until a buck 25, right? So if you buy in, for example, at a buck 25, and you get out at a buck 80, why am I drawing a blank right now? It's a uh, 55 cents, right? Yeah, 55 cents. So that's 55 cents of upside on a stock that you bought in at a dollar 25. So that's almost 50% gains. And this could happen extremely quickly, like over the next, couple of days because we're basing the time frame off of how quickly this bull run started right how steep was this flagpole that's the steepness of this flagpole right here it is suggesting that we get there tomorrow i would be pretty shocked if we got there tomorrow right you just wouldn't have enough time to get in and out of this trade in that kind of time frame i guess you could if you were a day trader but this is a swing trading channel this is not a day trading channel um i don't think we're going to get all the way up to 180 tomorrow um, even though this pattern is suggesting we could do it that quickly, we would have to mimic this uh, bull run right here perfectly to do that. So, um, but I do think it's gonna happen quickly, guys. Especially if we break out over this blue line on this wave, it's gonna happen quickly. So 180 is the price target, guys. Uh, make sure you're doing your own due diligence. Um, I wanna talk about the reliability of this pa uh, pattern. Uh, this is a bull flag, so you have about a 65% chance based on historical bull flags of reaching that price target 
after we break out above this blue line right here, okay? 65%. That doesn't mean we have a 65% chance of going up and 35% chance of going down. It just means we have a 65% chance after we break out above this blue line that we're gonna go straight up to that price target, right? We could get halfway there and chop around. We could get a quarter of the way there and drop. Uh, we have a 65% chance of heading straight up there. And we could eventually get there over time. You know, this seems like a good company. It's got a uh, good volume behind it. There's a lot of hype. They have products. So, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't I would be surprised that they get there eventually. I just don't know that they're going to, you know, go straight there, right? If we break out, close above this blue line, we got a 65% chance. Really good odds when you're dealing with bull flags. This is closer to a bull flag than a bull pennant. Um, technically, these are not perfectly parallel lines, so it is a bull pennant, but it's much closer to being a bull flag than most bull pennants. So I'm going with the bull flag statistics at 65%. Okay, guys? That's what I've got for a Sertio stock ticker ASRT. If you guys liked this video, please hit that like button. It helps my channel out a lot. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button. I do uh, chart pattern analysis and we make trades based on these chart patterns and we've done pretty well so far on this channel. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you're still sticking around in this video and uh, you haven't stopped watching and you're not a subscriber yet, there's something that you liked in this video, right? So hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'll see you guys down in the comments below and in the next video. Thanks everyone. One.